Hi, welcome to another video. So, I recently covered Google Stitch, which was actually really amazing. However, there's a new tool that I found out about, and this one is actually quite amazing and free as well. This one is called Magic Path. Magic Path is by the developer of Claude Engineer, which was actually really good if you remember that. It was like Ader, but specifically made for Claude. Anyway, those developers have now made this tool called Magic Path. This is not open source, which is a bummer, but it is free and really useful. So, what it does is simple. It is a UI designer tool that is very similar in usage to Figma. You have this whole canvas-like thing, and you can drag it around and everything like that. But instead of allowing you to build components from scratch like Figma, it takes an AI approach where you can basically give it a simple prompt of whatever it is that you want to generate, and then it will generate the component for you, which is basically React code. You can then take that component and plug it into anything to make it work with that. Once the component or web page is made, you can also change some text, font, colors, size, styles, and stuff like that. It can generate all kinds of UI, including mobile or web. So, let me show you how it all works in action. But, before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Dart. Dart is the only truly AI-native project management tool that you'll ever need. You can use it to manage your tasks for a project, create multiple boards, organize them, and do everything that you generally do. But you can also use AI with it to manage your tasks. For example, you can ask it to generate tasks for you by brainstorming or planning projects, as well as performing duplicate detection to keep you focused. You can even assign whole tasks to Dart and it can get them done for you. You can use their composer-like AI agent that has the context of all your tasks and you can chat in natural language to just ask it to do something. It can delete tasks, create tasks, edit edit tasks and handle multiple things like that. Apart from this, you can integrate it into your AI clients or coders with its MCP server, which allows your MCP client or coder to reference tasks from your dartboards. You can even integrate it into Claude, ChatGPT, and much more. Most of the features in Dart are free, while you can also get the $8 subscription for more features. Make sure that you check Dart out through the link in the description. Now, back to the video. First of all, on the left, you have the sidebar. The sidebar shows you the projects that you have made here. Each project will have a different canvas and hence different components. So, for each project that you are doing, you can create one project here and keep the components or UIs that you make organized here. You can also see the number of tokens left here that you can use. It gives you 50 token generations or 5 generations daily for generation on the free tier. Anyway, now let me show you how the canvas works itself. So, this is what the canvas is, and you can scroll and do everything that you do in a basic canvas. At the top, you can see a share button. This allows you to share this canvas with someone else, and I'll come to that in a bit. But let's first try to generate something. At the bottom, you can see this add button. As soon as you click it, you'll see that it will create a new 800 by 600 block here and open up an AI assistant panel here. Now, what you can do is that before asking it to generate something, you can just hit this icon-like thing here, which will allow you to choose between three resolutions of the stuff that you want to generate, which is basically tablet, mobile, and browser. You can just click on any of the options, and the block will get resized accordingly. You can also resize it to any resolution by just dragging it and stuff like that through here, which is also kind of cool. However, the designs that it generates are generally responsive, meaning that as soon as you start to make the block smaller, it will start getting adjusted to that area size, which is kind of cool for sure. So, you don't have to limit yourself to always use it in one way. Anyway, we can now ask the AI assistant here to build us some UIs. We can also put in images of inspiration or something like that as well. 
Let's ask it to build me a music player app that is based on the theme of water. Now, what you'll see is that it will get started on it. The streaming here is actually quite fast, which is better than something like Stitch, or even stuff like Bolt for that matter. It has a good UI view as it does stuff. Like here, it did the planning, and now it is trying to go ahead and do some more stuff over here and generate the component for us. In a bit, what you'll see is that the component here is generated. Now, this looks pretty good. And what you can see is that here, we have the whole UI generated. This looks pretty sleek, and the design isn't something superbly amazing, but it's still pretty good. Now, you can actually use this component within the app itself, meaning that it is fully functional, which is quite better than something like Stitch, which makes designs that are just designs and not usable. However, this is something that is fully usable. You can also ask it to iterate or change something in it by hitting the chat icon here, which will just open up this sidebar where you can hit anything and ask it to do some changes. You can also do visual edits with it, meaning that you can easily select DOM elements within the generation itself, and this will allow you to change stuff like margin, padding, width, height, label, alignment, and stuff without messing around with AI, and stuff like that, which is also kind of cool as well. So, this is kind of cool for sure. Another thing is called flows. Flows is quite cool as well, as it basically allows you to generate new pages that relate or link to this page. So, let's say that this is the main app, but now what we can do is that we can hit this flow option, which will basically spawn four dots on it. This will allow you to click on any of the dots here. For example, if the page that you are trying to make comes before this page in a flow, then you'll hit the left dot, or for pages that come after, you'll hit the right dot, and so on and so forth. As you click it, it will ask you what kind of page you want to make. So, this is the main page, and what I would like is to have a simple sign-in page as well. It is needed here, so we can ask it to just do that. In a bit, what you'll see is that it will get generated, and a line will get connected to it, indicating that they are now linked, and the generation will also have the context of the design of the original one, and will follow a consistent design so that nothing looks out of the blue. You also have the code view option that will give you React code that you can then download and use locally as well, which is also awesome. You can also open this design in a new tab, and use it accordingly, or share it with someone, which is great. You can also share all the designs with the share option, and then share them accordingly. That is majorly how it works. I found it quite intriguing, and it lacks some stuff for sure, like it doesn't have Supabase integration, it can't integrate external libraries, or anything like that. But it is the first version and this whole canvas-like thing seems amazingly good to me, and you can surely give this a try as it works really well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!